Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about irritable bowel syndrome IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome is a disorder characterized most commonly by cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. IBS can cause a great deal of discomfort and distress, but it does not permanently harm the intestines and does not lead to a serious disease such as cancer most people can control their symptoms with diet stress management and prescribed medications for some people however ibs can be disabling they may be unable to work attend social events or even travel short distance now we will see the causes for ibs Researchers have yet to discover any specific cause for irritable bowel syndrome. One theory is that people who suffer from IBS have a colon that is particularly sensitive and reactive to certain foods and stress. The immune system which fights infection may also be involved. Now we will see the symptoms of IBS. Abdominal pain, bloating, and discomfort are the main symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome however symptoms can vary from person to person some people experience constipation called ibsc often these people report straining and cramping when trying to have a bowel movement but cannot eliminate any stool or they are able to eliminate only a small amount if they are able to have a bowel movement There may be mucus in it which is a fluid that moistens and protect passages in the digestive system. Some people with IBS experience diarrhea called IBSD. People with diarrhea frequently feel an urgent and uncontrollable need to have a bowel movement. Other people with IBS alternate between constipation and diarrhea called IBSM mixed. Sometimes people find that their symptoms subside for a few months. and then return while others report a constant worsening of symptoms over time few other symptoms include the following abdominal pain or discomfort for at least 12 weeks out of the previous 12 months it is relieved by having a bowel movement change in frequency or appearance of bowel movement uncontrollable urge to have a bowel movement difficulty or inability to have a bowel movement mucus in the stool bloating stomach and abdomen bleeding rectum fever weight loss and persistent severe pain are not symptoms of ibs and may indicate other problems such as inflammation or rarely cancer the following have been associated with a worsening of ibs symptoms large meals bloating from gas in the colon few medicines wheat rye barley chocolate milk products or alcohol drinks with caffeine such as coffee tea or colas high level of stress conflict or emotional upsets will trigger the ibs now we will see the diagnosis method for ibs irritable bowel syndrome is generally diagnosed on the basis of a complete medical history that includes a careful description of symptoms and a physical examination although there is no specific test for ibs diagnostic tests may be performed to rule out other problems now we will see few preventive measures for ibs since the cause of ibs is unknown it's not possible to reliably prevent symptoms The following strategies can help your digestive system and so may improve the condition. Drink lots of water, preferably 2 liters a day. High fiber diet improves digestion. The amount of fiber must be increased gradually to allow the stomach to get used to it. Avoid food or beverages that make the symptoms worse. Coffee and milk are frequent offenders. It may be helpful to keep a diary. in which you note down the foods that seem to upset your stomach avoid strong spices and foods that forms more gas avoid large meals but eat regularly limit your alcohol intake 
What about the treatment for IBS? First you will need to work with your doctor to find the best combination of medicine, diet, counseling and support to control your symptoms. Symptomatic and constitutional homeopathy medicines works well in IBS. So you can consult a experienced homeopathy doctor if you have IBS problem. Thank you.